day two of the HSBC Women's Seven Series in Paris, and it could be the defining day of the season as New Zealand and Australia battle for the title while France chases an historic tournament win on home soil. Nathan Wong, the little netball chest pass, and it goes quickly out to Broughton, and you know she'll look to take them on. Got off the right foot step, and now off the left, Gail Broughton's going to put the head down, pin the ears back, and Gail Broughton's made an immediate impact after coming off the bench. Super sub, Broughton! She comes on, she makes a difference, and what a way to show her class. Again, New Zealand are just really building their momentum now, aren't they? And that's the thing. Spain's have to make sure they stay in touch because when New Zealand start to get more confidence, they really do pull away. Willison clears well under pressure and Brazier just lets the ball in and now sets off on a tear. Kelly Brazier, Kelly Brazier looking to go her own this time. Again, summing up that situation and it's Brazier in for New Zealand. Fifth try of the match for the Kiwis. Kelter tries to release Tapper. Tapper takes the handbrake off and drives for glory and gets there. Confirmed by the officials, first score on the board. Ma gets her tackle in. But Canada still keep coming, and it's Varela. She's done it before. She went from 75 metres in that match in Langford. It's a little bit closer now, but the strike is critical for Canada. Well, play on. It's fallen for Fiji, and it's going to open up again here. Big Finn from Thumu, and Thumu's going to go in under the post to extend Fiji's lead. That could be a huge score for the Fijians. And they clear it well, and they clear it quickly, and they heave it across field for Cherry. Here goes Emily Cherry, ball in two hands, popping it up and over the top. Cutting back in field, Keslick just skidding out of her hands, and now it's a little bit messy again. They reset, Tonaghetto, broken defensive line. Tonaghetto finds Keslick spinning it on for Cherry, and it will be Emily Cherry with 30 seconds to go, who finally gives Australia the lead. France beginning to make a little headway, good handling. Izar out to Grassino. Grassino looking to make up for that earlier mistake. Good work from Emily Scott, but France is still coming. Ellie, Ellie, France! Try on the board. Things looking to be tied up after the try from Captain Fanny Orta. Just using his strength to hold that ball up. Ah, the penalty. Three quick penalties in a row against New Zealand. This time just around the bootlaces, Williams is Charity. Williams looked to set up. It was Niall Williams on Charity and Williams. And now it's turned for New Zealand. And Brazier will fancy herself here one-on-one. -on -one. She's shaped to go inside. Instead, she went outside. And Kelly Brazier puts the foot down to seal the semi-final for New Zealand. They will go through to decide it. Find, set. First big opportunity for Australia. Kaslik spots opportunity, quick transference. And Dominic Dutoy scored two tries in the quarters. 
has already scored one now in the semi-finals. Australia off the mark. The Australians mount up close to the ball carry. Now Kaslik tries to find an avenue through towards the 22. Step by step, Australia trying to get out of their danger zone. But again, the call goes against them. Shannon Izar waits for the call from her captain. And France find their way to mark it through the captain, Fanny Orta. Now, how does that change things? Five huge minutes left in this cup semi-final. Everybody in the stands seems to be cheering for France, but they hold on too long. Is this last chance for Australia to get themselves in that final saloon tomorrow afternoon? Emily Sherry! She did it in the quarter-final! She's going to do it again in the semi-final! Well, that is class. Australia hold their nerve and streak away to get that vital place in the final tomorrow. France thought they'd done enough, but my goodness me, Australia have shown what they're about. A trans-Tasman final to finish things off from the women's perspective. New Zealand against Australia. Australia already have done enough to take the series, providing they turn up, of course. <laughs>